Today we're going to talk about fixing junctions in Eagle. Now nobody still uses Eagle. The world has either moved to using KiCad for home use or Altium for their day jobs or they've given up on the maker movement entirely and, and now they're all designing self-driving cars because that's what you're supposed to do this year. But for the uh, one or two viewers who are still using Eagle to design schematics, let's follow the typical workflow of a first-time Eagle user. You finally get the schematic editor, and your first thought is, well, let's, let's drop in a part. So you go to the Add button. There's a really nice library, homemade library, created by Uncle Lion. So let's just put in a MOSFET and you immediately notice, well, it's obviously configured to snap to a grid and the grid is like twice the size of the part. So to make any reasonably complicated schematic, the parts are going to have to be absolutely tiny relative to the space consumed by the schematic. So you think, well, let's fix that grid snapping issue. You say, aha, what is this shit? Nobody uses inches to design electronics. This is some kind of British imperialism. I'm going to use millimeters. And I'm going to set them to one millimeter snapping the way it's supposed to be. And you hit OK, and now you say, ah, now the grid is a reasonable size compared to the component. So let's, let's just drop in a few of these parts here. So the first thing you want to do with P-type MOSFETs is to give them a positive voltage supply. Like any schematic editor, the free parts are simply awful. There's nothing here that you can actually use. So these are probably the best looking symbols. And then you just create this rail with the net tool. And you get so frustrated with Eagle that you just decide to quit. And then you come back another day, reload the schematic, but then when you try drawing the net, it doesn't have persistent steadings. So it's gone back to inches. What do we do? Because you're a metric pundit. Go back to the setting and you say, millimeters, damn it. And you can't remember what size you used. It was something really small. I don't know, one thousandth of a millimeter. And then you draw the net. Try to get the net close. Can't really see it. And now you test to see if it's connected. Ah, it didn't join the two nets. Say, so, well, what about this, this junction tool? What does this do? This, this should join these, right? No net selected. What is this shit? Arr. First you require me to use imperial units, and now you can't create junctions. How am I supposed to select a net? Okay. For this situation, there is hope. Go back to your net tool and just draw over what you already drew. But instead of ending it at the power rail, draw it all the way to the power connector. And then it'll ask you to join the net segments. So this new net you created is now joined the way it should be, so you can delete the old one, but it didn't give you a junction where there should be a junction. So you go back to the tool, go in there, no net selected! Arr, it's the same net! If you look on the internet, say, well, 
Maybe Alphabet Corporation will show me how to fix this no net selected error. And here, you get all this noise and basically everyone on the internet, at least up until they stopped using Eagle, was saying, just scrap the whole schematic and redraw it all using the default grid settings. But the fact is, you don't really have to do that. The primary way to make a junction appear is basically to move around existing junctions. So it created one here, which looks terrible. I'm just gonna select this and then drag it where it should go. Done. So now the two nets are connected. You didn't have to restart everything from scratch again. But what about this one? It didn't give you a junction. You gotta do the same thing you did before. Draw in the new net from the part all the way to the other connector and then drag the junction where you want it to go. So even though it's a total mess, at least it looks right. But what if you drew a net and it didn't give you a junction to reuse? And you're going back to this thing trying to create a junction that's still giving you that no net selected error. In this case you have no choice but to draw another net. Right over the existing one. Just to get it to create a junction and then drag the junction over. And make believe this thing goes on. Well make believe you have to have a junction here. And then delete the net you drew. But everything's connected, even though it's a mess. That's basically a quick and dirty way of getting Eagle to create junctions for you. It gives you no net selected otherwise. It's just to make it look pretty.